Happy Friday, folks, and welcome back to the Random Video Blog, where every single Friday I gram G.S. and Matthews run down my rambling wrestling thoughts, share a few stories, etc., etc. And coming off such a stacked week in the world of WWE, from Backlash to TakeOver, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and everything else in between, uh, there's a lot to talk about that I discussed yesterday in WrestleRant Radio, but one thing I did not talk about on the show yesterday, available on Next to Wrestling.net, by the way, in the description box down below, that I wanted to save for today's video blog, was the discussion of a potential Money in the Bank women's ladder match next month the SmackDown exclusive event, Money in the Bank, obviously. Um, there have been reports about this for years, a lot of discussions, a lot of fan fantasy ideas and stuff along those lines. But it looks like this year, it might be a legit possibility. On the, I think it was initially reported by Pro Wrestling Sheet, maybe on Tuesday, that a women's Money in the Bank ladder match might be in the works for next month pay-per-view. For next month's pay-per-view. And then it was re it was followed up by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that it is indeed the plan as of right now. Well, so here's the thing. So next week we're going to have a fatal five-way match to determine the next number one contender to the Smack the Women's Championship, Naomi versus whoever. I assume it's going to be won by like Natalia or something, whatever. That leaves four women. Um, that doesn't mean they can't do a still a women's Money in the Bank ladder match with just four women. That would leave uh, Carmella, Tamina, Charlotte, and Becky. I mean, they've done four-person Money in the Bank ladder matches before. Go back to 2012 when it was Cena. I mean, they had Miz thrown in there at the last minute, but it was going to be Cena, Big Show, Kane, and Jericho. So it's not completely out of the ordinary for them to do, you know, a uh, a four-person, four-man, four-woman Money in the Bank ladder match. And I mean, they could always throw in Lana to make it five people or bring over Summer Rae or whoever to SmackDown and make it five or six people if they want to. I think Lana, they've been promoting that she's coming for like a month and a half now, so I would assume that she's going to be debuting soon. But regardless of who's going to be in it, the real question to be asked here is whether it's a good idea. Now, I don't want to sound hypocritical because I have talked about this before in Hashtag Ask GSM literally multiple times in the past three or four years, because I get it every once in a while from you guys, and it's a good question, because on paper, it sounds like a good idea. Then again, it depends on who you put in there. It's going to be a fucking train wreck if you have people like Carmella and, and Tamina. I like Carmella, Tamina not so much, but both of those women fucking blow. They're terrible, I'm sorry. Uh, Carmella's getting better, Tamina's never been good, she probably never will be good. Charlotte and Becky I have more faith in, they're amazing, obviously. Um, I have more faith in them to, to contest a competent ladder match without getting hurt. But you put a ladder in the hands of Tamina or Car Carmella. I mean, they can always have a safe ladder match. That is a possibility. I'm not against the idea. It just has to be done the right way. I think I've always said that. I've always said no, just because with the current crop of women. And there are, you know, always increasing number of great women's wrestlers in WWE. Not only on SmackDown, but on Raw, you have Bayley, Alexa Bliss, Nikki James, Sasha Banks, obviously. A lot of talented women, and in, in, even in NXT as well. But it's got to be the, it's got to be a good crop of women. Um, with what we currently have on SmackDown, it would have to feature Carmella and Tamina. I just don't know, I mean, if they can pull off a, a, a good ladder match with those women in there, but... I have faith they can if Charlotte's involved, if Becky's involved. I would hope that neither one of those women, you know, advance to Money in the Bank to contend for the title. And then another issue is, why would you have a briefcase in a division that only has four or five women anyway? That to me, that to me seems kind of silly, but um, again, it sounds like a good idea. If done right, I'm not against the idea. I have been in the past just because I feel like someone's going to get hurt. And two, because it just doesn't seem necessary with only a few women on one brand. If you do it between both brands, that would make more sense. But then again, you run into the issue of the brand split and all that other shit. Like, I assume the male Money in the Bank ladder match is only for the WWE Championship. That's what I'm assuming here. I think that's been semi-confirmed on Talking Smack. I'm not positive. Um, we'll see where it goes. Again, this is just assuming the match happens. We're still not sure if this is even happening at all. I know it's been rumored, it's been reported by two very reliable sources in the Pro Wrestling Sheet and the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, but we won't know until it's officially announced by WWE, so we'll see what happens. Um, but then again, we've had women's, you know, Hell in a Cell matches, which was I thought was pretty good. Um, not great, not nearly as good as the other matches that Sasha and, uh, Sasha and Charlotte had late last year. 
We've had women's, you know, Iron Woman matches, which is a bit different just because um, that that's nothing really extreme to it. It's more of a longer match. But we've had women's steel cage matches, women's, you know, tables matches, no disqualification. But I feel like ladder is a, about as dangerous as you can go in that respect. Again, it's got to be the right women. I was always in full favor of doing a women's ladder match. Sasha and Charlotte last year in a ladder match. We never got that. I mean, the other matches they had were good too. But um, I'm in favor of a two-woman ladder match, um, including four or five in there. Again, it depends on what the field consists of, who it consists of. From Tamina and Carmella, I'm not too sold on at this point. We'll see what happens. I mean, I think it's a cool idea. Um, we have six top talent in one Money in the Bank ladder match. They need to fill out the rest of that card um, with other matches. They're obviously going to have two women's matches. They can't just have one because they need more matches on the card. Because the United States Championship is not being defended. Kevin Owens is in Money in the Bank. That's not happening either. Um, yeah, so that being said, I guess we'll see how it pans out. I'm excited slash nervous for the idea, but I'm still open to the idea happening considering, I mean, the women have killed it in every opportunity they've gotten over the past year. Really ever in WWE, but specifically in the past six or seven or eight months when they've been given opportunities in no disqualification, falls can anywhere, table, steel cage, iron woman, hell in the cell, you know, so on and so forth. Everything I just talked about a minute ago. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with the women on SmackDown. Uh, probably, I would assume it's going to be announced next week after the Fatal 5-Way Elimination match. We'll see. Um, but hopefully they do confirm it soon. Money in the Bank is only three SmackDowns away, three SmackDown shows away. They have three episodes left, I'm saying, before the pay-per-view. So we'll see. But I am interested, to say the least, in seeing how they uh, kind of manage this matchup. But that being said, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel down below, up above, or wherever the fuck the button is. I think it's in the corner. I'm not really sure. Anyway, though, like the video, drop a comment, share the video. All that stuff is amazingly appreciated. Um, and yeah, we'll be back next week with another all-new episode of the random video blog talking about literally whatever. I have nothing planned. If anything happens, I'll talk about it. Um, I, I, I don't know if there's any news items like this one will, like this was for this past week, then we'll talk about it in next week's installment. But until then, guys, have an awesome weekend. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.